What's up guys? Look at this. This for me is one of the ideal days. Um, might be a little bit too cold for many, but uh, there's a little bit of fog in the air, a little bit of mist from uh, the November mists. And uh, with this winter light flooding through, everything kind of has takes on this ethereal, magical vibe. Skies are clear. There's a kind of clarity in the air. It's crisp. This for me is fantastic. And um, thinking quite seriously about spending more time in this city, Krakow. It's quite a good little base, actually. And I keep saying this about every city I go to, I know that. Look at the colors. It's such a nice, uh, a nice place to decompress and think is this park in front of where I live. Um, but yeah, thinking about Krakow, because it's, it's nicely situated as well. Obviously things are a bit different now with the uh, lockdowns and stuff, but hopefully when things open up, it would make sense to be based here at least part of the year. It's close to Warsaw, it's a couple of hours train to Warsaw, and it's uh, about an hour and a half drive or so to the mountains, which for me is perfect because I've always wanted to f situate myself near good hiking, good mountains. You know, I, I, I come to life when I see mountains around me. So that in terms of location, this could be really interesting. Now, obviously I'm, uh, I'm talking about fairly random stuff here and I'm treating this video as a bit of a video, uh, sort of diary entry, November 6th or 7th, uh, 2020. We've just announced strict uh, lockdown over here in, in Poland. Let's talk about um, how we can make the most of this slower pace. Now, I often talk about putting in the work and uh, finding a sense of urgency in what we do and taking action and doing stuff and being productive. And um, wanted to uh, go the other direction today because sometimes you do need that. You do need that balance. Um, and uh, it's a good thing to stop every now and then and just slow down and, and, and take in the details because we can get wrapped up in our own thinking. We can get wrapped up in mo movement and motion and kind of getting busy, busy. And I have spoken about the good side of being busy. But sometimes it's good to just slow down and come to a place like this if you're lucky enough. Um, this is why I love this as well, um, compared to, like, for example, I was living in Bangkok, Thailand for two years, and I could never really enjoy walking around outside and going to the park and and slowing down. I was always in the heat, sweating my ass off, and I would rush my way around. You know, I'd, if I was in the outdoors, I'd be trying to get from A to B as quickly as possible to get out of the heat. But here, I'm able to just sort of slow down and take a breath and enjoy the outdoors. And... Uh, notice the smaller details, um, take joy in the, the silence and the um, watching the dogs running around in the leaves and uh, watching the light kind of filter through the trees and all the, all the basic stuff that we can often rush past and, f and forget to notice. So this is just a little reminder of taking advantage, I suppose, of the slowness that uh, many of us are finding ourselves in now, like the slower pace of life that comes with um, the economy being stopped effectively, you know, just things being halted and transport being slowed down and limited and people are not, um, I mean, pe people are still worried, people are still um, needing or at least feeling a sense that they need to act and they need to kind of generate business and all this kind of stuff and that's still there, but materially and in uh, you know sort of physically things are slower you know there's just fewer people around there are more people kind of locking themselves away at home it's a slower pace and and that's a good thing to make the most of that slower pace you know you, you know diet you know immerse yourself in that um, re remind yourself that there is a slower side to life and it isn't the only place to be. It isn't the only place necessarily to spend all your time because then you're probably going to fall back. And I talk about this a fair amount. You know, if you if you um, if you slow down, 
continually, then you're gonna you're gonna be pushed back by the torrent of life. Um, if you if you slow down and don't take any action, don't do anything, you know, inevitably, you're going to fall back in the material sense. You know, you're not gonna be able to pay the bills and and, and so on, especially if you work for yourself. So see it as a sort of two-sided thing. You know, there there are gonna be moments where you're gonna be more active, more urgent, more um, in motion, which is great. And then you wanna go back into the yang, you know, so you've got the yin and then you've got the yang. Everything is about the sort of duality for me. Um, and enjoy those moments when, when, you, when you can kind of enjoy the luxury of, of slowing down and, and taking notice. Because what, what that does is it gets you out of your thinking to great practice, to step out of your, um, yeah, stepping out of your thoughts and um, you're really taking control in that sense. You know, you th a lot of us think we're in control when we're in worry, when we're in rumination. We think that we're taking control of our mind that way and we're getting on top of all our problems. But of course, we're out of control really for the most part when we allow our thinking to kind of take, take control and to guide every aspect of our lives. And sometimes it's, uh, it, it's a, st a good strategic move, if anything, to step out of that, of that heavy thinking and, and um, regain control in the sense that you're stepping outside of yourself and you're kind of looking um, at yourself from, a third, from the third person. You're um, regaining your awareness of not just your thoughts, you're regaining a sense of awareness of everything. And um, we explored this in a recent class of mine. I ran a few free classes called Persona and I'm gonna be um, launching a, um, a longer term program for, for you guys um, which plays with the idea of awareness and it plays with the idea of identity and stepping out of our, our egos and stepping out of our thoughts and the power that exists in understanding that we are not a personality and we are only a personality that's in line with our thinking. Our thinking thinks we're a personality but we're anything we want to be. We're, we're effectively limitless. And, I, and I'm using these classes as a, as a, a way to explore this sense of limitlessness. And, and really the, the best way you can sense that is to, is to develop your consciousness, to be, to be in the present as much as you can. And you don't need to necessarily be moving slow and doing less to be present. You can be in flow, you can be urgent and present, you can be conscious, but sometimes it's good to kind of train the mind, train the body to be present in a more slow context, like, like sitting on a park bench and um, just watching the world go by. And in, in doing that, you're not being lazy, you're not um, wasting time if you understand that there is a kind of middle ground, like there's there's a, the sweet spot between being completely switched off and being aggressively, intensely present. You know, you want to find that sort of sweet spot where you're kind of at ease and you're relaxed, but you're also um, you're also uh, yeah, you're, there there is a presence to it. There is a, an awareness to it. There's a sort of a gentle, I can't remember the word, there's a good word that one of the Buddhists uses, but um, it's sort of main, there's a main, maintaining a sort of tension in your consciousness. So, so, not really sure where I'm going with this today. This is a bit of a, you know, it's, it's a bit of an off day for me. It's a Saturday and I'm, my brain's a bit slower today, but a nice opportunity to talk about, you know, just remembering to return to presence and, and noticing the details around you and, and really taking pleasure in the basics, you know, the, the, the fundamental elements of, of our reality, which is sound, sensation, the beauty of simple things, the beauty that you see in little details, you know, just looking at, you know, a tree, tree trunk, just taking it in and just sort of enjoying the sensation of that, of the stimulus coming into you. It does, we don't need to always rely on this over-the-top stimulation of sugar and, and pornography and film and, and all these things that we tend to run to that just sort of floods ourselves with sensation. We don't 
we don't want to be doing that too much because it's um it's running us dry like it's over it's over stimulating us which means that we are more easily able to forget the smaller details okay that's it from me just a little update from crack off and, and uh, giving you a sense of uh, where i'm at and i wish you a peaceful day talk soon